it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here back again with another video and today I'm gonna be doing some kind of mod mod updating um, So let's kind of go start going through so here we have my uh, 1982 Chevy C30 if you guys remember uh, this from a while ago uh, You knew that the interior was screwed up. You could see through the one side the box was all goofy um, Fix that and rebaked everything and whatnot and uh, it's in Giants Editor now with um, <clears throat> with textures, dirt, all that stuff. Uh, I'm just going to go through and remove the dirt, and then we will uh, take a look at like the chrome and that stuff, and then also I'll show you um, the new. Um, the other texture choices. So here you can see we have the uh, chrome look to it. Uh, we got an old-fashioned uh, North Dakota license plate. And we got the interior here. Nothing special. Um, so now let's kind of look at some other some of the other uh, color options so here we have a nice dark oops dark blue kinda neat a buddy of mine sent me the hex code for that and I thought I would uh, do a version with that because it's kinda neat uh, here we have deep sea blue which is one of my personal favorite colors. Um, I love deep sea blue on any pickup. Any vehicle, for that matter. Anything, really. Uh, it's a, just a neat color overall. <clears throat> so then here we have the uh, teal version. Uh, this truck will be released, and when I release it, you it will have the extras folder in it um, this folder here with all of these it'll have all those in it so then all you have to do is take is copy the texture files out of here and put them into the textures file the extras file will be in here so all you have to do is just open the extras and then copy and paste and you'll have different colors uh, but for me in my game, I'm going to have it so that I have different versions, a different version, one with each color on it. <clears throat> so now we have the turquoise uh, blue, which is really neat looking blue as well. I'm very happy with the way this truck turned out. Uh, it's very nice for a SketchUp model. Um, all I have to do now is script it, and then it uh, will be ready. Uh, I will be releasing this and the Dodge Ram 3500 at the same time, uh, I think, or else different times we'll find out. Here's the Cucumber Green, uh, which is a neat green as well, or a neat color as well. Uh, then here we have Garden Hose Green. <clears throat> Another neat uh, green color. And then here we have a uh, True Green. It's a little light, lighter than uh, normal green, but uh, it is a green and I just think it fits well on this truck hmm. my tires look shiny with the light on um, then we go 
We have a nice strawberry red here. Which, uh, this truck, I really like in red. Um, yeah, this truck's very nice in red. Uh, it'll come standard, in, standard with a normal red texture. Um, it'll come standard with that. And then we have white as our final color. And there we have it. So then the original color is a plain red. As you see there. So I'm not going to save that. And it does have windows. It's just the way that they're set up. It doesn't look like it. Um, here we have my... Uh, cattle trailer that I bought. Uh, this will not be released um, along with a few of the next things I'm going to show because um, these are paid models and whether or not I have the ability to release, I will not be releasing um, because anything that I pay for I'm not going to release. So, I was lost there for a second as to why all my tires went, but not all the uh, rims, and I forgot that I had to bake them individually. So yeah, this is a Circle J horse trailer. Uh, I bought it off of Turbo Squid. Uh, it was relatively cheap, so I thought I'd buy it and uh, use it. Uh, the doors, unfortunately, wouldn't open very well right now. Um, a good friend of mine that I know, he offered to uh, script it for me, so uh, I'm going to send it to him later on. I need to make a couple changes. I need to change these lights to be uh, red instead. That or I might just leave them white. I don't know. Uh, it does have a fairly decent interior. Uh, it is an all chrome trailer. So we won't save any of these things. Um, I'll save that for last. Uh, here we have some more bought and models. All of these are. Uh, we have a Hagee STS-16 applicator. Um, got this this and all of the next models that I'm going to show these all have come from polygonish.com and uh, same with you know like the circle J uh, anything that I buy will not be released so that's the applicator version and then here we have the sprayer version so I need to work on these models. Um, need to separate and join some things on them. And here we have a Brant 1545 TDLP auger. Uh, newer model auger on this. Uh, this one is a newer model auger. Uh, this is, I'm going to script this to be the same as the Brant auger that is released on American Eagles modding. And that'll have a motor on it and stuff like that. Uh, then here we have a Chandler 24 RDT uh, tender trailer uh, for seed and fertilizer. And then we have the Meridian Seed Express 840, which is the little brother to the 1260 uh, that is released. Uh, I'm going to basically script this to be exactly the same as the uh, 1260, so I'm going to kind of sit and compare the models and figure out what needs to be joined, what needs to be separated, all that good stuff. 
Uh, and then finally, we have the Massey Ferguson Heston 9870 uh, with um, Haybine header. Uh, I haven't gotten the one with uh, the platform header. Uh, I'm not sure if my buddy's still working on it or not. Uh, and if not, I'm going to purchase that one as well and do that one. Uh, it's the same Swather model, only it has different tires and then it has the platform header as well. Um, let's go here and go to Polygonish. Uh, it's this one right here. And see, it has the uh, Dinoswath header on it, is what it's called. And you can see they have a large array of models, uh, and they're all fairly decently priced. Uh, you got Demco Harvest Link, Borgolt, 9620RX. I want to look at buying this planter in the future, but uh, from what I've heard, it needs a lot of work. Uh, currently have a video uploading for Wednesday. Uh, this is Thursday's video. Uh, tomorrow we will be on Dad's Farm. So look forward to that. Now for the big one. Uh, we got my map. Uh, time to do some updating on this. I've been slowly working on it. Uh, for a while it's just been kind of sitting. And now I'm getting back into it. Uh, to work on it some more. Uh, this fertilizer heap was already here, but, uh, I imported the one that I'm using on Dad's farm where you can purchase fertilizer from it. So, basically just put it in the exact same spot, only it's, you know, and it's the exact same thing, only it's an edited version, really. Uh, got a di different John Deere implement sign. Uh, this is an actually realistic one. I wish I could get my wording to work a little better. I might have to play around with that. Uh, the scale, I still don't have it working, but I saw a map released that has working probe on it. So I'm going to just uh, do some copying and pasting on the scripting from that to get uh, to get mine working. If you see, I changed the uh, field textures. I want to change this cultivated texture, I think. Might change it to something else. Uh, I'm not sure. I have to do some comparing. And then all in all of the small gravel roads, you know, not the major gravel roads like um, like this one here and stuff. I've cut the size in half. Uh, you can see like this one here uh, because they were too large and so I have shrunk them down a little bit. Um, let's see, I know I have some stuff under here. So let's turn the visibility back on on this. Uh, we have a bunch of sheds here. I found a bunch more as well that I'm going to be putting on here uh, later on as well. And then uh, if you see here, we have been I have been putting in some power lines. Uh, this is a long and tedious task and very boring and annoying. Uh, and I'll show you guys why here in a second. And I've also started on, got a couple of the smaller ones. Uh, the big ones that you see there, those are only going to run along the highway. Uh, and then the ones that are right here, uh, these ones will run on every other gravel road that has power lines. So they'll run all the way across on that gravel road, uh, on that gravel road, this gravel road down here, all the way to town. Uh, that road, uh, just up to that farm, that road all the way down, uh, the road over there just to that farmyard, and then uh, connecting from the main ones all the way over to town, and then all the yards will have transform boxes, uh, and the city will have in-ground, um, underground electricity. Uh, I still, s okay, I still need to do this road. So let's go ahead and we're going to do this road here, uh, shrink it a little bit. Uh, that is grass, that is grass, and that. So we're going to go 
just like that. Okay, I need to go on the other side. Uh, come on, go away. Darn it. I just completely screwed this up now. Alright, good enough. Alright, so now let's go on this side and get rid of it. Because this side is going to work correctly. Just the way I wanted it to. Somewhat, I guess. Now I know for in the future, gravel roads only need to be uh, have a radius of two, not four, or for section lines, anyways, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to be getting back to working on the uh, buildings as well uh, here fairly soon. I have the elevator quonset done except for the doors. I just need to build those yet. I still need to figure out how to make working doors. I still haven't figured it out. I'm going to have to ask around and see if I can find somebody that knows. Um, or just of somebody that would... You know, that knows of a way to kind of cheat it. Uh, you know, use like an existing door and that can show me or that would do it for me or something. Um, you know, rather somebody like, rather ha find somebody that knows how to either scratch make them or make it and, you know, use another door and kind of cheat it in that can show me how to do it. Because that would be... Nice. Okay, so now we need to switch to here. And now we need to get rid of grass there and put grass there. But I also need to switch this to gravel. There and there the only two spots okay now we can go back to putting down our grass whoops see I was planning on doing a map update here pretty soon anyways and I thought well I've got a bunch of different mod projects you know in the works right now so why not uh, um, show them off. Uh, the 3500, it hasn't changed at all from the video that I did on it, so that's why I didn't show that in this video. Uh, I need to take the, uh, a different Ram, I need to take the other Ram 3500 Longhorn, uh, pickup and export the cab out, uh, or export the body out to Blender and then take it and separate the interior out of it and um, then just take that interior since it's already set up to work with the interior texture that I'm trying to use um, I can just take that and uh, work with that work with that existing interior rather than going and getting you know taking the one that is in it already and trying to make everything fit uh, it'd just be a whole lot simpler. Um, so the steering wheel that I have in mind already, that'll also go um, away, and I'll just use the steering wheel that's in the other one, uh, since that is also already set up for uh, for the texture, and is set up much neater than uh, mine was.
All right, let's put that at 0.5, and then start on this end and uh, put in the grass strip. I've had people ask me why I'm putting grass, uh, because these are gravel section lines, uh, rather than you know having dirt section lines. Um, these ones are all gravel, and section lines have the strip of grass in between where the wheels would go. Uh, so that's why, that's why the strip of grass. So yeah, I've been uh, able to keep up with the new schedule pretty well. Uh, it definitely helped to get a head start. So now I'm recording a video every day and editing and uploading it. Or I edit, record it and edit it one day. And then the next day I'll get it uploaded and scheduled and stuff. Uh, like right now I got the video uploading. Uh, this one's going to be seen uh, tomorrow. Uh, today's video just went up. 46 minutes ago uh, and that one is episode one on the fresh version of Northwest Ohio version 4 uh, it is now v4.2 uh, so we were doing a fresh start and then I also um, am uploading episode 2 which will go up uh, tomorrow for me which is Wednesday and it uh, it will um, yeah it'll go up Wednesday and then this video will go up Thursday and then I gotta do a couple of things on dad's farm and then get that uh, get a video recorded on that and have Friday's video and then figure out something for the weekend uh, so now I'll show you why I hate power lines Cause you gotta move it and then you gotta adjust the wire okay we can get rid of terrain editing now um, shrink this back a little ways there we go okay so I think if I move this back a little bit it should be just about set there we go um, let's move this down just a hair more There we go. Okay. Control Shift C. Control Shift V. Control Shift V. And there's another power line. Now, in this spot, it's not too terrible, but uh, like with this hill here and, you know, where it's really hilly, uh, it's really annoying. I am going to have to redo some of the field calculations because. Uh, in these fields, I'll have to make little, you know, spots going around the power lines. Um, but it shouldn't get rid of too much field, I would hope. Alright, so we need to move it back just a little bit. Bit. I think right there should just about do it. Okay, so we need to go back just a hair more. There we go. Then we'll get all those ones adjusted as well. Right, we gotta go way down with this one. All right, just like that, but we gotta move this back just a little bit. Perfect. Of 
course everything's changed so better to just uh, copy all three lines all three rotation lines and uh, paste them I think we're just about dead on here. I'm uh, just going to adjust this. Perfect. So yeah, this is very uh, long and boring to do, but uh, it's got to be done. The details make the map, so I want uh, as much detail as is possible without making it lag like crazy. Which, I'm using good quality objects, so uh, lag should not be an issue. There we go. Three minutes left. <coughs> so I think with this three minutes, what I will do is show you guys the elevator quonset here. So here you can see the uh, elevator quonset. Hmm. It's funny. Here we can see it in rendered mode. And I'll actually export it to the folder as an i3D here just to show you guys it. So we'll let that export. Uh, it's actually a fairly big file because of um, how I set up the kind of waves in the building uh, if we tab into object mo or edit mode here you can see I got all kinds of faces and I don't know what to do with them I don't think I can like merge them or anything or dissolve oh I can okay cool that'll that's nice to know All right, let's do it then. I'm glad that I found that out. Cause maybe it'll be a lot uh, smaller file size when I do that. Oh, but I can't hunt the very first ones. Okay, good to know. Uh, can I do a couple rows at once, I wonder? No, I cannot. Well, I'm glad that I found this out because this is going to be much, much nicer. So I can only do one row at a time and I cannot do the very first nor the very last. 
Good to know. And there is the timer. So yeah, uh, I'm going to sit here and finish doing this to this building. And then uh, I might sit and try and make the doors up uh, just to model them and not worry about anything else on them. Just model them. Oh, yeah. Never mind, I can't. Um, actually, I guess this did export, so I'll show you it here in Giants Editor quick before I end the video. Uh, it has, it is 44.6 megabytes, so pretty decent sized for just a building. So here is the building. Uh, it's shiny right now and see through. Uh, I haven't gone and uh, added the. Or maybe. Is this why? No. Um, I haven't gone and added the. Um, solidify modder fire to it so it's shiny and I haven't edited it it's shiny because I haven't edited the notepad the i3d and notepad and it's uh, see-through because I didn't apply the solidify modifier but here's the shed so yeah <coughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure to check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias, my mod site, other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at, my PC specs, and my video schedule. And that is all down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.